to the oven cook. What I'm going to do today is a really nice quiche. And I know what you're going to say, oh my, oh my god, Irvin, another quiche? But this is instead of pastry, because um, I don't, well, well, you know, I, I'm not a fan of pastry, even if I make it or it's shop ball. So but I do like phyllo pastry. So I'm going to do this one with phyllo pastry. So this is going to have um, uh, chopped ham, broccoli, I'm just going to trim the little florets off. Eggs, uh, leek, garlic, shallots, butter, this is uh, olive butter, some milk, obviously cheese, and some thyme, and the phyllo pastry which is um, over there. So, we'll get started and uh, we'll crack on. So, see you soon.
one eternity later. So there we go, we've got our ham and leek quiche, uh, which obviously had leeks, shallots, some uh, fresh thyme, some ham, which, well, I use gammon, uh, some olive butter, some broccoli, olive oil, phyllo, some skim, like skim milk with um, three eggs, and cheese and it turned out really good because I don't like um, I'm not a fan of pastry but I do like phyllo pastry and it gives it a nice thin crust and as you can see it's uh, really really it's good well it smells really really good and uh, so if you're not a fan of um, Filo, by all means, use the normal pastry. Uh, either, I don't know, puff pastry or normal pastry or whatever you want to do. So, this is going to be really, really nice because uh, it smells nice and I'm going to eat this now. So, thank you very much and uh, stay safe, everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. See you later.